In this video, I'm showcasing what I did to build this excellent quality and powerful speaker. This vintage style portable boombox features a 200 watt amplifier, but maintains a fairly low budget. Enjoy. So before we start off this build, I'm just gonna go over some of my plans, just give a quick overview on what I'm thinking of doing. To start out, the speakers. Uh, I got these out of this uh, Onkyo or some Japanese brand SKF series, I think. Uh, there's the ratings for you. 4 ohms, 50 to 100 watts. Uh, I made a speaker with these before, and they're pretty good. <clears throat> and then I got these ones, 4 ohms and 50 watts. I uh, couldn't find the model number, but... Uh, I can link that in the description if you want to check it out. This pretty much is all of the parameters there if you want to freeze that frame. Max, it can run about 50 watts to two channels left and right, and then it has a base channel. And I'm planning on running these on the left and right channels and these on the base channels. Uh, this is a five, about a five inch woofer and uh, this is about four inch, but got it in there. It's got the knobs, volume knob, Bluetooth, aux in. It's got a few different level controls there too. Next up, we got this piece of pine plywood. Uh, it's about half inch thick. And I'm gonna be cutting that thing up. Well, the other side has some better grain on it, so. Then, we just have this stain and polyurethane mix, Mission Oak. Uh, I wanted to get a darker looking wood. So I think that'll look pretty cool. So, I'm gonna talk about how I'm measuring the box and uh, kind of the dimensions of it and how I'm going about it, taking speakers that I can't find any user manuals on, any specs. Um, and I'm trying to be able to make it perform the best in the right sized enclosure. So I pretty much, these two speakers came from the same uh, bookshelf speaker. Uh, I think it was like the left channel or something. And then these came from like a center channel so pretty much what I did here is I took the inside measurements of the box and wrote them all down and calculated the, the, uh, the area inside the box for both, added them up. So I'm, I mean, it's not exact, but <clears throat> it should perform close to its best around this value here. So I went all, over a whole bunch of different sizes and everything and, um, I kind of came up with a design that looks something like this. Now this is 12, this is the outside dimensions. So this is 12 by 18 by eight. And pretty much when I measured the area all up for that, and obviously I subtracted an inch off of it because these are the outside dimensions and the inside dimensions are going to be an inch less because of the way that that works. And it comes close to that value. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's close. I mean, it doesn't, it's not going to matter too much because I'm not looking for high performance quality. I'm looking for something that's going to pump out a lot of sound. You feel? So parameters, we got... 12 inches here, 18 on the bottom, and 8 with the depth.
next day, I took all these side pieces over to a friend's house and uh, we routed up the edges. Just used a 45 degree straight bit. Came out pretty good. So the step I'm working on right now is uh, on the face plate and I'm kind of just laying out all the, all the components. I got the speakers here and I think I've come up with this design, I'm trying to make everything as, um, as even as I can. I made these little cutout templates and traced all the holes and stuff. So. Uh, I think this will actually look pretty cool. So I haven't really gone over what I was doing because I was kind of just working, but uh, obviously I clamped down this, drilled out all the holes and cut out the speaker mounts. I also took this back over to a friend's house and routed all the edges. I flush trimmed some of the pieces and gave it a nice round over bit. Also on this back piece, which is going to be screwed on. What I did here is I drilled out and then I used the jigsaw, cut these holes, 
This one's for the rechargeable power supply. This one's for the plug-in. Some wires and the switch. Obviously, that's a big error right there. You know, it's definitely not the best woodworking, but. So this is it kind of mocked up and with a glare. But you can see, you got the rechargeable power supply. But with that, you would take this, plug it in, plug that into the wall. It'll charge this and or play music. Then you got this one and that's just a simple laptop charger and that you'll plug into a wall. <clears throat> but it's not rechargeable. So this is if I'm stationed somewhere, um, but it's more powerful. That's why I have this as well. And then this switch here, that's off. And then it'll just select in between all of them or it'll select in between the power supplies. So I attached everything with some hot glue and um, now obviously it's not the most professional or clean look but that's what I did. I might throw in some wood filler or something but I already stained it so I don't know. Um, on the back and I also attached in the, the, uh, the circuit board here and that's in place pretty good. <clears throat> and then obviously the thing's sticking out the front. So now it's just time for some wiring. So for wiring, we have these two inputs, the rechargeable one and just the one that will plug into the wall. And I'm gonna hook it up to this, uh, each ground is gonna go to this middle one. And the hot lead from this is gonna go to the top. And this one is gonna go to the bottom. And these are just crimp connectors that fit right onto the <clears throat> right onto the switch. And then from that, there's gonna be wires coming from each of these that will go into the board here. Sorry. So I have these connections in there, the power connections, and then I just did up all the speaker connections too. <clears throat> I have two coming out of the the one base output, which obviously will go to the two bigger speakers. And then now I'm just waiting for my hot glue going to warm up and then glue that bitch back in there. We have everything wired up. I'll go into there, all the speakers connected. I gave it a little test and it works. So now we're just gonna put everything back together and yeah. back on the speaker and everything is in place I have this weather stripping um, so try to keep it airtight <clears throat> and 
now we're just gonna put some of the finishing touches on it, like this leather handle, some feet, and the knobs for all the controls. All right, we just finished up. Got the leather handle on there, and the aux cord, and these uneven ass fucking knobs. I don't even know how that happened, but I mean, when they're all twisted a certain direction, they kind of even themselves out. Um, just because my woodworking is A1. Let's give it a sound test. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. It was fun as hell to make. I may not be the best woodworker, but if this inspires you or your next project, I'd love to hear about it. I spent much less than any product on the market with similar specs, so it's well worth it. Like, comment, and subscribe. You already know I do.